So hi and hello. Welcome to our channel in Elko Exploration. My name is Samir and in the previous lecture I have shown you how to find the min max from given array using divide and conquer technique. And now we will understand the pseudo code of finding min max and then we will analyze its span complexity. So let's get started. Now here I have named the function as mm obviously that is min max and then it will accept three parameters array start index and end index now as i said that we have to define the small problem first so here the small problem will be if the number of element is one or if it is two so let's see what happens if number of element is one if we compare start index equals to end index if it is then it will assign a of s as max and min and it will return it or if the number of element are two then it will compare is s is equals to e minus 1 or not if it is then there will be a comparison between these two elements if the a of s is greater than a of e then max will be a of s and min will be a of e or else max will be a of e and min will be a of s and it will return the value now this is a small problem now what happens if the number of elements are greater than 2 so here we will first find the mid element the formula for mid will be s plus e divided by 2 and then it will call the function recursively so mm by passing the three parameters array start index and mid index that we got from here and after that the result getting from this function will be stored in x1 and n1 as maximum and minimum and after that it will again call the function by passing three parameters array mid plus one and e and the value getting from this function will be stored in x2 and n2 now after that we actually have four values x1 and x2 n1 and n2 now there will be a comparison between x1 x2 and n1 and n2 if we found out that x1 is greater than x2 then the max will be x1 or else max will be x2 if n1 is smaller than n2 then the minimum will be n1 or else min will be n2 and we will return max min in this way we find the max min from a given array now let's see which part is divide combine and conquer so actually this is a small problem which will take order of one time because there is no loop now this is the divide part this will also take order of one time because it is actually adding and then dividing that will be constant part now this is the conquer part so it will be 2t n by 2 now this is the combined part this will also take order of 1 because of no loop now let's find the recurrence relation based on time so here the recurrence relation will be tn equals to 2t n by 2 plus order of 1 plus order of 1 time taken by for divide and time taken for combine when n is greater than 2 or else order of 1 if n equals to 1 or 2 now since this is the constant part we can replace this by c so here it will be tn equals to 2t n by 2 plus c now let's find the time complexity this is actually cost to divide and combine only at first level that is when t of n is calling t of n by 2 
n t of n by 2 then at this level only it, the cost is c for divide and then combine the cost for next level this will be n by 2 the cost for next level will be taken by these two and so on so here is a task for you find the time complexity using master theorem but i will show you using substitution method because i have to so show you some cost now let's see this is the first equation t of n by 2 equals to 2t two n by 2 square plus c i have simply replaced n with n by 2 so t of n by 2 square will be 2t two n by 2 cube plus c so this will be second equation and this will be third equation now substituting this value in this part so we get t of n by 2 equals to 2t 2 square n by 2 cube plus 2c plus c similarly substituting this value in this part because t of n by 2 t of n by 2 so we get t of n equals to 2 cube t of n by 2 cube plus 2 square c plus 2 c plus c if you do this for k number of time we get t of n equals to 2 raised to k t of n by 2 raised to k plus 2 raised to k minus 1 into c plus 2 raised to k minus 2 into c and so on till 2 raised to 1 into c plus c now this c can be written as 2 raised to 0 plus c so we will write 2 raised to 0 plus c now i will be reversing this part so we get 2 raised to k t of n by 2 raised to k plus 2 raised to 0 into c plus 2 raised to 1 into c and so on till 2 raised to k minus 1 into c now actually we have to eliminate this function so let's say t of 2 raised to k equals to 1 why 1 because of the termination condition so here the value of k will be log n base 2 now substituting the value of k in this equation we get 2 raised to log n base 2 into 1 plus 2 raised to 0 into c plus 2 raised to 1 into c and so on plus 2 raised to log n base 2 minus 1 substituting k value into c now the value of this will be n pulling this c from this part we get c into 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 and so on till 2 raised to log n base 2 minus 1 now this is the gp series so it will be n plus c into 1 into 2 raised to log n minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 so n plus c c into n by 2 minus 1 so the dominant term is n so it will be order of n so the time complexity of this pseudo code will be order of n now observe here this is the stack space this is cost at first level this is the cost at second level 
this is the cost at third level and so on and this is the cost at kth level so thank you